Hey guys, it's uh, Wayne Santos. Uh, there are rumors of, you know, well, I suppose I wasn't around last week and so some people speculated that maybe I was, you know, fired or maybe I was dead. Um, actually, that's not true. I was fired and then I was dead, but somebody had a bottle of Phoenix Down sitting around in the office and as we all know from Final Fantasy, that'll just get you right back into the fight. So, here I am and this week, I would like to extend a um, two-part message of um, congratulations to Amy Hennig for um, finding a home over at the uh, Visceral Game Studio at EA and a heartfelt plea to EA do not screw up Star Wars because this is for the first time EA is actually in a position where they could once again like redeem the Star Wars franchise and actually crank out a decent game and that is a result of two things one and the most recent is Amy Hennig, who is a great writer. You know, it's like she's done great stuff for Uncharted. She did great things when she was at Crystal Dynamics with the Legacy of Kane series. So they've got her at Visceral Games. This means that Visceral Games now has a chance to at least tell, uh, make a Star Wars game that tells a decent tale. The other big gun that EA has, which I think most people forget, is that, you know, for a while now, they've owned Bioware. And what did Bioware give us way back in the day? Oh, that's right, they gave us Knights of the Old Republic. So if you stop and think about that, not only does EA have Amy Hennig on the payroll, but they've also got the same guys that made one of the best Star Wars role-playing games of all time. And for the most part, you know, with the exception of the good doctors who, you know, like obviously left the studio, they've still got a lot of the core crew scattered around in both Bioware Edmonton and Bioware Montreal. But those guys could still conceivably get it together across the two or three time zones that they're separated by now and give us a new Knights of the Old Republic game, which I think would be amazing considering the kind of graphics that we've got now. I mean, like, let's let's think back to when Knights of the Old Republic came out on the Xbox. You know, it was an amazing experience for its time, but with the Frostbite engine that Bioware now has access to, plus, you know, it's like the amount of experience that they've acquired in the intervening years, I'm talking specifically here of Dragon Age, you know, it's like, you take Dragon Age, you take the Frostbite engine and you take Star Wars and you combine that all into a wonderful mix and in theory it should be a wonderful mix. So here's hoping, you know, it's like EA, you're, you're, you're in a very special position now. You know, it's like even LucasArts couldn't get Star Wars right when they tried to make their own video games about it. You know, it's like we saw the promising Star Wars 1313 game which never got made and now that amazing graphics engine is being used for real time pre-visualization with you know Lucasfilm proper and then of course there was the force unleashed and the less said about that the better but you've now got Amy Hennig and you've not got you've now got Bioware so you have a chance here to do something really special you know it's like for God's sake don't screw it up and Amy you know it's like now that you've landed on your feet and you're over at Visceral Games do us proud because we're all really looking forward to what you've got coming up next thanks and see ya